Hello everyone, welcome to Marvel Midnight Suns on the Grey Man Gaming Channel. My name is Grey Man. We are continuing where we left off quite a while ago. I haven't played this game in a bit. We're going to play it now though, so let's do it. Birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, a blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? So what, we're gonna call on a goddess to help us to like <laughs> to do some housework? Take down a wall? <laughs> okay. <laughs> goddess, oh goddess, please help me take down this wall. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Uh, is it word of power? That's all we got. The goddess of order approves. <laughs> I gotta get this goddess to do some of my housework for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just, you know, I know it's a game, but it's funny. Can I open this? I can't open it. Arcane keys available, okay. Where do I find my arcane? Do I have any here? It says available, but I... Oh, zero. I have zero available. Okay, we can't open it. Let's move along then. <laughs> That's funny. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Uh, caretaker... Isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Well, it's good to see Agatha. Agatha, they just started filming a new series on Disney Plus called Agatha Co uh, Coven of Chaos. Just started filming. It's a spin-off of uh, WandaVision. So that could be interesting. Hey, look at my dog. Oh, he's so cute. Good girl, Charlie. She's such a cute little devil dog. Let me pet her again. Do I get any more? Who is I pet her again. Girl. It is my Charlie girl. She is a very good looking dog. <laughs> I love it. Alright, do we have anything else? Can I pick up that jar over there? What am I going to do with it? We need some of those keys to get that. I don't think I want to change my outfit. Room upgrades. 
Velvet curtains, hmm? Mirror, a ring, a rug. I guess I'll do this later. I got 170 points, though. Fine nightstand. Bookshelf. Yeah, I upgraded it. Did I get a achievement? No. Uh, we got the bookshelf frame. We got the sofa. How much money do I have? I'm gonna save my money just in case. All right, let's leave. Let's go find uh, the next thing to do. Daily bugle. Reap. on, Hunter. Please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, All right. that's Hunter to the Forge. Thank you. <laughs> I feel Strange like I'm on an interview. Out. Strange out. That doesn't sound like Benedict Cumberbatch. Let's go. Let's go check him out. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Desperately need to get into this crate. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. What have you brought me today? Hosts of Hoggoth. I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your 
breath. Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. Place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. One sorcerer's trash is another's treasure. I'll let you be the judge on this one. Let's get started, Dr. Spooky. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Hey, Hunter, uh, got a sec to spare? See. You moving to the forge, Hunter? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh, man, um, sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with, like, 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. He allows you to call him Sparky? Well, yeah. He knows it's coming from a good place. He's really impressive, Hunter. I can't wait for the two of you to meet. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blake to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Well, I think we're about to find out. Why would you ask that when you're gonna know in a second anyway? Hunter, Let's do it. Get your burn on. I'm talking training with Ghost Rider. Spirits oh. of vengeance train the hardest. <laughs> like playing with fire. Maybe you should be the Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission. Got a minute, Hunter.
Nice to get some fresh air. Hardly any cobwebs or ghosts out here. Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble. Apocalypse prophecies. The Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus. The way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yes, she is quite the marvel. I see what you did there, and you're not wrong. Never met a gal who could throw me into the sun before. She is a formidable ally in our struggle against Lilith. Hell yeah, she is. Smart, quick-witted, fearless, hell, she even glows. And do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes, no. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say? You are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. My apologies. And if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. Yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my stakes or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling with my hands as yeah, usual. <laughs> all right. Let's talk to Carol Danvers. If I can get... There we go. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too. But yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. And I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. We gotta find her, but in the meantime, we'll collect some materials. I mean, how far can she be? Is there a map here? Does it tell me where she's at? Bloodgate. No, she's not there. What's this? An arcane chest. Ooh. We could go out there and get that, but I guess I won't. Caretaker. We'll just see if we can find her on the map. Ghost Rider. I don't see her here anymore. Can I zoom in? There we go. I guess it would be too easy to have her on the map, wouldn't it?
One thing I do like is collectibles. So awesome. These kind of games can keep me going for a long time with just collectibles. Alright. So the reason why I have this channel is to get animals adopted from animal shelters to save lives. Uh, that is the main goal of my channel. As many of you know, if you are new and watching Marvel Midnight Suns and have not watched my channel before, that is what I do here. Uh, oh, another tarot card. The Sun. John, oh, these are really cool. Johnny Storm leaps. I wonder if they had. They should have like a, a physical version of these cards. They're very cool. But uh, as I was saying, uh, I have this channel to network and get the word out for people to get to animal shelters and hopefully adopt, and if not, to volunteer their time uh, and bring some things. You know, if they volunteer their time uh, when you go to bring some toys, some blankets, some food for the your local animal shelter. I don't ask for donations on this channel. Uh, instead, I ask you to take whatever you were planning on donating and giving it to your local animal shelter and helping them out instead of me. Uh, that's what, you know, my channel is to help animals uh, not profit off of other people. Uh, so that's what I do here. So, and right now, I'm running a contest on the channel called Gray Mains Gophers. That is something. Where uh, you look for keywords on my videos and I've been planting planting random keywords fascinating throughout my videos not every video not every day but just randomly and uh, I started that on January the 5th and it's running the last day that I will uh, accept um, a keyword is on February the 4th and I will announce a winner on February the 5th uh, keywords only last 24 hours on the video that they have been revealed on. So, in other words, if you if I if you say the keyword for this video today, once I reveal the answer tomorrow, then you will no longer be able to use that keyword because I'll be posting it on the video itself uh, in the uh, like I'll pin it uh, if anyone gets it. Um, so keywords are only good for about 24 hours, so you have to grab it on the video. Uh, and I will put it on the top of, uh, I will pin it to the, uh, to the video that the keyword is no longer in play. Uh, and that will go on until February the 4th, and I will reveal the winner, as I said, on February the 5th. One winner will get one $25 gift code for either... Uh, a console, uh, the PlayStation Store, the Xbox, uh, or the Nintendo Switch, or for Steam. So that will be revealed on whoever has the most accumulated keyword points, and you get one point per keyword uh, throughout the month. Uh, so you could have a total of, you know, however many keywords there are, you could have, uh, you know, many many points if you get a keyword like every keyword I've only put up I think four keywords so far so anyway long story even longer the keyword for today on this video is adopt adopt and this keyword will expire tomorrow today is what the 21st so it will expire the minute that the clock strikes 23 so you have all day on the 22nd tomorrow and then you have until uh, 3 a.m. West Coast time uh, before I post the keyword in the comments uh, and that will end the keyword so there you go adopt is the keyword for this video I don't know where to go I mean there's no hints as to where magic is Maybe, oh, it says map, but where, let me zoom here again, 
Maybe I'm just missing the arcane chest. Who's this? Hunter's Folly. I'm gonna try going there. Fast travel. Fast travel, please. You cannot use fast travel right now. All right. Well, I guess that does that. All right. I'm just gonna go play the rest. You know, other people here until I can find magic. I don't know where she's at, but I'm sure. Other people want to talk to me or something. <laughs> I like finding the collectibles, though. That is very fun. Where's that arcane chest at? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Discovered. I can't open it, though, can I? What do I need for this? A key of some sort? Yeah, arcane key. I have got none. All right, let's look around. I'm not going to let this video go too long, and I'll... If I have to complete things, it is one of the elemental rods. Off of off of camera, I will, but I prefer to do everything on camera. Curious. There's just so much to explore here, which I like, but it's, uh, you know, when you're trying to find someone, it's a little, oh, wait, who's this? Aha, I found her! This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for, opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. That is no ordinary book. I can sense it from here. Nothing in this place is ever ordinary. Especially this. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. I do not suppose there are any spells in there that will banish Lilith and save the world? Hard to say. These incantations appear to have been written for Wanda alone. <sighs> Maybe a world without Wanda is one we are not meant to save. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. We will find her. I can feel it. And just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. You expect too much. <sighs> okay, I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the Forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. All right, we are exactly on half an hour. I'm going to end the video here and continue it later on when we open up the portal and go through and maybe do some actual fighting. Can't wait. I will do that. I want to keep it short, so I don't like to have very long, as you know, I don't like to have very long videos. Anything in here that I can look for, though? Any cool? This is my room, right? Uh, yeah. 
Uh, anyway, I don't. There's absolutely nothing in there that I need. <laughs> anyway, I will uh, continue this in the next video. Hopefully, we will have fun uh, stepping through the portal and hey, doing some fighting. Pretty fresh. Well, let's just check out what's in here first. Something. Oh, let's talk to uh, invite to Haven. What does that mean? Let's try it. The Dusty Haven. Take a friend painting with you around the Abbey. Each Haven can only be used once. Each hero will join a Haven only once. Let's try it. I want to try it. That's a major XP gain. Here we go. I've only discovered so, one. The staff of one. I don't let anyone borrow it, if that's what you're about to ask. No. How do you trick it into casting the same spell more than once? Oh, I try not to think of it that way. Not anymore. It's like a, a partner I had to learn to work with, or a roommate to live with. But I have seen you cast the same spell before. That's magic I picked up on my own. I use the Staff of One to focus and augment it, but I don't pull out the big guns unless things get, let's say, apocalyptic. Then keep at it. You are no good to us without the Staff. So you, of all people, think the only reason I'm here is because of my evil mom's legacy? That is not what I meant. <laughs> Sounded like it was. Uh, let's drop it, okay? Okay. Uh, sorry I snapped at you. My mom is a touchy subject. I of all people get it. Yeah. Can we do it again? We still have so many more movies to show you, like, like 70s grindhouse flicks. See, Hunter, you're so much more than a weapon. You're fun. All right, we got some nice games there, and that was pretty fun, painting. Uh, that will do it for this video. I will see you in the next one.